Jason Kidd shaking up the starting lineup. Brandon Michael Carter Williams and Greg Monroe off the bench as they take on the Boston Celtics. Monroe driving to the rim for the facial dunk and the foul on Kelly Olenek. He make that free throw and walk up 37 to 36 in the second. Jabari Parker driving to the rim. He throw one down as well, putting the Bucks up 51 to 48. Later on in the second, Avery Bradley missing this shot, but Sollinger finds Crowder for three. The Celtics would lead the way by one at the half, 54 to 53. Then it would be the Moose getting loose in this third quarter. Monroe posting up for the layup, plus the foul. He'd make this free throw, and posting up for yet another reverse layup. Get this one to go in the paint as well. Getting it done a little bit outside, driving to hit the teardrop to beat the buzzer. Take a look in this third quarter as he puts the Bucks up 93 to 74. It would continue on in the fourth as well with Michael Carter Williams getting it to Giannis and Titacumpo with a facial slam over Amir Johnson. Milwaukee up 99 to 81. The young Celtics would make a push. Amir Johnson with Avery Bradley for three. And Evan Turner. Jay Crowder, and he get it done in the paint. They continue cutting their deficit late in this game. Isaiah Thomas, the Eastern Conference All-Star, driving to the rim for the layup plus the foul. He'd make that free throw and cut their deficit to just four. With the Bucks still leading the way, Evan Turner passing to Jay Crowder for three. Now, these three would tie things up at 109 apiece. Boston coming back from a huge deficit to tie it up late in this game. Monroe posting up for yet another hook shot, getting the Bucks back their lead by two. 111 to 109. Then late in this game, they was fouling Kelly Olenek here on the inbounds pass. Olenek would have to go to the line. He hit both free throws to tie the game at 111. You can take a closer look, Bayless. Pushing Olenek on that inbounds pass, and Olenek in the clutch comes up with both free throws. Now, with the Bucks inbounding the ball with one second to go, Chris Middleton going to be fouled here by Avery Bradley. And look at that one more time as Middleton goes to the line, and he hit the first for the lead. Then intentionally missed the second to run out the clock. This one would put the Bucks up 112 to 111, and as he misses, time would expire, and that would be your final score in Milwaukee.